Hello, and welcome to the project presentation for ACEMOJI, Emoji Accommodation in Swiss Multilingual Computer Mediated Conversation. This is our team. In the first row, you can see our fantastic EPFL team made up of Bob, Christina, Justina, and Michao. And in the second row, you can see our equally fantastic UNI team made up of Aris, Anita, and Andrea. The ACEMOJI project examines the way in which people conversing in the Swiss national languages converge or diverge over time with regard to emoji usage, thereby managing social and emotional distance. Besides an assessment of models and methods for addressing emotional aspects of computer-mediated conversations, the project will result in a better understanding of citizen science practices and their applicability to language-related research in the Swiss multilingual context. A secondary objective of the project is to determine whether convergence and divergence in emoji usage display comparable patterns in the Swiss national languages. Based on the WhatsApp Switzerland corpus of WhatsApp conversations, a citizen science approach is being taken to annotate emojis in terms of function and emotional content. Data science methods will then capture accommodation patterns in the annotated data and correlate them with demographic features. Moreover, we are examining the raw data of the WhatsApp Switzerland corpus to identify accommodation patterns using data-driven approaches. One challenge in our project project is the translation of technical terms to layperson's terms, and then translating those into equivalent formulations across languages. The pilot studies have been helpful so far to test the comparability of the wordings. Another challenge we've encountered was how to select samples to illustrate a homogeneous communicational context for annotators, which we've approached by concentrating on the beginnings of conversations identified based on the temporal distribution of messages. We've also faced challenges in defining how to measure accommodation on the existing corpus, as patterns emerging from well-defined metrics were not always easy to interpret and turned out to be quite noisy. Data from the WhatsApp Switzerland corpus shows that there is a general tendency to use more emojis over time, so if we look from 2010 to 2014. However, inside of a given chat, the general tendency is actually of a reduction of the number of emojis over time, and this across conversations and across languages. From our pilot study, we have found that in certain cases, an emoji is so ambiguous that we get a large variety of ratings, as we can see in both graphs, where for valence, it was rated as positive, rather positive, rather negative, and negative. And for arousal, it's been rated as calm, rather calm, rather intense, and intense. But in other cases, most participants agreed on the rating, showing the value of the citizen science approach in identifying ambiguous cases. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.